What's up, YouTube world? I wanted to talk to you guys today about how we wake up, we uh, do our daily routine, how we struggle uh, day to day, week to week, uh, paying our bills, uh, or going to work, working 40 to 80 hours a week, depending on our jobs, our careers, our businesses, what level it might take us to. Um, meet the financial goals that we have in mind what what's the burning desire that we have in our life bottom line is important that you uh, make enough money to meet your financial goals but it's also important to work hard enough to have um, money in the bank let's say uh, ten to twenty thousand dollars I um, mean, th th these are just hypothetical numbers that I'm pulling out of the air. Um, I would probably say a retirement account with uh, that you're putting in about five to ten percent of your uh, uh, working income a after taxes. Um, I would say um, that might be broken down to uh, let's say. Um, three to four hundred dollars a week maybe um, or not a week a, a, a month so if you put roughly three hundred and seventy six dollars in your bank account on a return of uh, I think it's ten or twelve percent over uh, 40 years if I remember correctly so you put you start at age 20 or 25 and you uh, stop putting in money at 60 or 65 40 year period you're gonna have uh, over three million dollars in the bank with compounded interest but that's not the point of my conversation here the point is I wanted to break down um, a lot of these numbers are I get from Dave Ramsey or um, another gentleman, um, Barron's uh, number one financial advisor, uh, Rick, uh, I forget his last name, but both these gentlemen write books on how to uh, pay off your bills, the lies about money, uh, Rick Edelman uh, wrote, um, and they're, they're great people to listen to if you need some financial advice to get your uh, stuff in line and order you don't have a financial planner uh, you're kind of the person that uh, does a little research before you go talk to someone that might not too sure where to point you at being a new person I would suggest uh, reading Rick Edelman and Dave Ramsey to start out um, you should uh, have some kind of a system where you are putting money away but back to the the struggle the daily struggle that you have in your life you want to realize that you're in the um, kind of the deep end of the swimming pool as you um, grow your career your business you're saving for the future you're putting a uh, money aside that's liquid meaning that you can get to it in a emergency it's kind of your emergency fund um, in case you get laid off from your job or uh, let's say sales in your uh, business go down for a while you have something to fall back on um, so I really want to talk to you guys about that when you're in the career mind when you're in, in the business mind and especially when you're in the lawn care business when you go out there and get your first customers your first clients those people are helping you win uh, you're on your path to victory you're winning long before you realize you're winning uh, to overcome anything that's going to stand in your obstacle uh, be an obstacle to your path to your uh, life's uh, journey to early retirement or whatever 
But you want to know that by doing the right thing every day, doing what you can every day, only controlling what you can truly control, worrying about things that you can really worry about is going to get you to a level where you want to be in months down the road. Then you're going to realize, you're going to realize that you were winning long before you even realized it. You're working the 40 to 80 hours, 100 hours a week during the summer for lawn businesses, you know, from March until the middle of December. You're just hustling and you don't even realizing that you're winning before you were winning. I mean, those customers are, you know, you're exchanging money for uh, the time and value that that customer sees of the service that you're providing. If you were winning in the beginning and you realized it, I don't know if you would really understand the value of busting uh, and just busting your hump just to get to where you want to be. See, like, when you're humble and you don't realize you're winning, that's a bonus. When you're so humble and you're just trying to figure stuff out and you're not trying to be the, uh, oh, look at me kind of person. But you're out there showing people what you got going on. You're showing people what you're made of, what services, the quality of work you're doing. You're showing people that you matter because you're providing services on a level of quality, not like the other people, not like the low baller down the road that <laughs> is going to mow the yard for $15 and you need to get it done for $50, you know? Not the high school guy, not even him, you know, is going to touch you because there's a certain class of people out there that are willing to pay for your service when you give them the value, give them a certain uh, assurance that the what they're paying for is value which is quality um, in certain aspects of the overall view that the customer seeing in you and for me when I go out there I mow a yard I'm looking to be I'm gonna do my best and if, if there's something wrong I'm gonna let the customer know I'm gonna say hey you know with your grass, you know, we need to work on something. We need to get, put a game plan together to get it looking as green as possible. That it, it's uh, up to where you want it to be. You want it to be a nice uh, green grass from edge to edge in the front, the back, the sides of the yard. Um, and that, that's definitely what you do. You work with your customer. You work with your client. You work with... Uh, the property management company that owns the property, not the, the tenant that lives in the house, you know. Um, if someone has a dog, you work with the, the customer and let them know that uh, they can talk to their vet about uh, the acidity and the urine of that pet, especially a dog typically uh, marks its territory in the same spot over and over and over again. Typically, it's around the uh, patio, uh, concrete patio. You know, right there along the edge where the grass is that meets the uh, patio. If you go in someone's backyard, typically, let's say up north uh, with uh, bluegrass, fine fescue, and you're like wondering, oh my goodness, why are there so many bare spots around my, you know, um, patio, uh, concrete patio? Well, that that's the reason. And... Um, it might not be the only reason, but if you got a dog, bets are it's the dog with really strong acidity in his urine. But honestly, I think my point of this video is just really realizing that 
when you're working, the main point is just work hard, be humble, stay hungry, and realize that you're winning and you're winning before you even realize that you're winning. Because in 5, 10, uh, 20 years after you've dug yourself out of every hole that you, you have, currently, you're going to have new situations, but you're going to have money in the bank. You're going to have time to go on vacations. <coughs> you're going to have um, many of this, uh, many of the essential things that you need to continue to run your business successfully with um, the right people with with it all. So if you like the content of the this topic, uh, keep and stay tuned like and subscribe let's uh get to a thousand uh subs on youtube and thanks again talk to you later